Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep, number 72, and it's a live Facebook stream, and it's just going to be me talking about, I might talk about the previous year. As it's the 2nd of January, I thought the previous year might be a lovely, exciting subject to discuss. So, I'm just trying to think, I could try and share this. Bear with me two seconds, I'm going to try and share it online. In fact, I can't really share it, can I? So I'm just going to turn off the thing. Hello, Sebastian. Um, Kaina Kin 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 and uh, Yannick is Yannicka, isn't it? Yannicka Nardo is watching, and it's <sighs> oh, I only watch this when you can safely close your eyes uh, because even though some of you watching this won't be perhaps going to sleep because you're and uh, there's going to be some comments come up in there that I will ignore uh, as they come up because some people like to post uh, silly messages and stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the uh, the previous year. So let me have a look. Let's see if I can. Oh, can't block him. Okay. So Rachel says hi. Uh, hi and to me and Andre. Hi. So I actually lost my diary. Couldn't find it earlier, and eventually I did. So it's my 2018 diary. Okay, so that's uh, that's some telephone numbers that I need to keep hold of, but I'll stick it over there for now. Got some good, well, I don't know if it's exciting, <laughs> exciting news, but when you make videos for YouTube or for Facebook, this one's on Facebook, um, it is getting the lighting right is not always easy for me, uh, probably more so because I film in the evening or at night time. So I've got a light on above me, I've got another light over there. Well, what I'm going to have tomorrow, hopefully, if it's delivered, is a special, it's like this tree. So it's a special light for people that are filming using the phone. So it's kind of what YouTubers use. So it's one, it attaches to the desk, like with clamps and it's got two like two big branches to the tree one is with the light which shines down and the other one is it holds the clamp that holds the phone which is i'm actually i'm using a tripod stand with a clamp that holds this iphone so I'm not saying I've got sophisticated setup, but I've got a fairly decent setup. I've got quite a few different tripods and uh, microphone stands and camera stands and things like that. So at the moment, this seems to work okay. But instead of getting a light behind and using this stand, I'm going to test out this new thing that I'm getting tomorrow. 
So hopefully it should be a better picture. I know that that doesn't affect anybody that's listening on um, SoundCloud or Spotify or Spreaker. But um, yeah, so it should be all right. Also got some batteries coming because this microphone that I use got itchy face. This microphone that I use here, I've shown before, it's a massive long lead, but it's got a battery in the power pack. So I've got about 30 or 40 batteries coming tomorrow, I think, or maybe less. There might be 24, but that should be enough because this battery, I've had this microphone for over a month and I've been using it most days. So I should, to be safe, if I put one in every week, then it should be cover it because I'm gonna be doing a lot more. I thought I heard Andre. Oh, heard my little boy in the background. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more sessions. The only thing really, time-wise, is the time it takes to make a video uh, not a live stream but to actually produce a video from an audio and then sort of with the deep sleep whisper sessions Andre just popped in I'll grab him if I can he backs away as soon as I go to get him he backs away for some reason. Oh, there we go. I'm giving daddy kisses again. So, he likes cuddles with me, but if he thinks I'm trying to get hold of him, it turns into a a game I guess and he likes to run away and he likes me chasing him so Andre says hello Uncle Sebastian and Auntie Rachel and Auntie Annika hello in the camera so you can see everyone say hello to everybody hello say hello so I'm just holding them up for those listening on the um, the audio I think when I've got Andre in my arms and I'm holding them up I seem to forget a little bit about those that are just listening and you can't see the video but if you just work out roughly what what minute you're into the vid, the audio, you could go to I you know to the YouTube channel and or to my website and you can just go and have a little look at him. It's a nice close up. He's actually fallen asleep and it can't, can't be a comfortable position. If I just hold him there, oh, he's done a little sneeze. You're gonna go to sleep. So I'll just cuddle him for a little bit until he's ready to go. You know, if I was able to do the uh, the animations of it, 
and have him do the hypnosis, him sitting in a chair and talking. I'd probably be one of the most successful YouTube channels because he's so cute and I think loads of people would love to see him. Look at him, he's so lazy. He's basically just... <laughs> yeah, I think I've hypnotised him. He's, he's used to listening to my boring voice and just... There's something about being manipulated like that and just slowly being moved around. It's quite relaxing as well. Sebastian thinks I should give him a, a dedicated YouTube channel. I you, did used to do that years ago when I first had him. The only thing is, I was trying to figure out what I'm going to how I'm going to use my time because I can't do everything, you know. And to make a channel for him, that's why I try and have him on here as much as possible so that, you know, I usually have him on a video. Whenever I do a live stream, I try and have him on here so you can see him but he's not always available. Sometimes he's asleep and it's not fair to disturb him. Is it? No. Oh, he's biting me now, he wants to get off. You wanna get off? Okay, I'll just wave goodbye to everyone. Oh, goodbye to everyone before you go. I do, I do massage his neck. I give him, I give him massages all over. Massage down his spine. Massage to where his tail is. Like the, the spine of his tail. Massage his tummy, just to get everything flowing. He's quite tiggly on his tummy, so he kind of usually tries to wiggle away when I do it. But if I do it as a massage, he's usually okay. Also massage his, his uh, hands, like the, just like the little pressure, the little pads on his hands, just give them a little push, a bit of uh, acupuncture, or acupre acupressure, reflexology, whatever you want to call it. His nails need cutting soon. So I do, I do give him a nice little massage quite regularly. Admittedly, when I did my massage course, I didn't learn how to massage a ferret, but I enjoy massaging him than I did ever a human. Although they're not quite as wiggly as he is. Not quite as wiggly as you, are they? No. Right, you want to go, don't you? You want me to leave you alone? Thing is, I might leave him alone now, but he'll probably go into the kitchen, start knocking stuff off the counter, not the counter, but out of the cupboards and stuff like that. You know? Hmm? Hmm? He wants to get off. Say goodbye to everyone. Bye bye. Oh, it's a nice little sound. Right, the microphones I think have been moved a little bit. So sorry if the microphone is a bit squashy. Well, I've made some strain. That was him sneezing. I got quite a tight t-shirt on tonight. So the... 
<sighs> the microphone's a little bit um, close to because I've got the beard, so I'm trying to not, you know, if I have the microphone there, which is, I suppose, the lapel, more of the lapel part, the my beard can like be a little bit scrapier against it. Bobby Jean, hi. So hi to everyone that's joined. Um, this has been a very long introduction and a bit tired, but hopefully tomorrow when I make one, I'll make another video maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'd like to do. I still want to kind of do a one at YouTube and then one on Facebook and one on YouTube, like live stream, so I can alternate between the two. But when I do it on YouTube, I don't get a huge amount of people join me, as opposed to when I do it on Facebook. Um, which is okay, it doesn't really matter because uh, I post it on YouTube and people still watch them. So yeah. So, I'm going to go through the year 2018, what occurred for me, because I don't, I'm not sure if I did a recall of the year, I might have already done it, I don't think I have though, because, yeah, and tomorrow when I've got my, the light, it should be a, a better picture, all round. All, all round. I am quite round. So I got me a can of Coke, got me a little vape, and since I did the since the beginning of the year, which was yesterday, I've had quite a few new subscribers to my YouTube channel. Uh, so thank you everyone for that, those that are subscribed and uh, those that haven't, maybe if you're watching me on Facebook, maybe you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel because the it's not just the live videos that I do, I also make other videos that I put on YouTube that I do share them on Facebook but it might be, at least then you'll be notified when they're out. So I do deep sleep whisper sessions. I try and do them regularly. Um, they're kind of ASMR, but the, they're my most popular. It's my most popular podcast. Out of everything I do, they they are. So I get um, much. Yeah, the largest audience out of everything I do is the deep sleep whispers. So. That's why I need to make more because the stats. It was I think it's an old an old saying, isn't it, that people vote with their feet, as far as um, or they they vote with their bums, as far as if you've got a nightclub or if you've got a, a show on or a theatre, people vote with their bums because they come and sit down on the seats. If you know, so if they don't like it, you won't get anyone come and sit down. So, I think that's the expression. Again, I'm pushing the microphone. I'm sorry about that, I'm scraping it there. I don't know how to, how to make it a little bit further down. It's about as far down as it can go. Anyway, I have to make sure I just keep my head up. So, The interview I did with Edini, uh, hypnotist Edini, um, which was the first interview of a hypnotist that I've done. First interview I've ever done, ever. And I've had quite a, um, had a lot of positive feedback from Sebastian, so that was nice, thank you. Um, and uh, also Edini was pleased with it, with the, because we did the live session, the live interview on Facebook on, which I didn't realize this 
because it was early hours of the morning for me on January the 1st, but he was actually talking to me live during the new year, as the new year came in. So when we started the interview, it was 2018, and when we finished, it was like half half an hour into the into the new year. So thank you, Adini, for, you know, welcome the new year in with me. And he's posted that video on his channel, I posted it on my channel, and uh, I've also posted it as MP3s on my podcast, so people are listening to them on there as well. So that was still kind of went together okay. Uh, took a bit of editing as far as the beginning because there was a big, there was a long beginning before we actually got into the interview. So I cut that down and uh, made a nice sort of, or tried to make a nice introduction and make the video look nice as well. So it's, uh, that took all night. So I was, I finished the interview probably about half four, five in the morning and I was up till probably 10 o'clock working on the editing and it was still running through while I was asleep. So it took probably a good, good few hours, five, six, seven hours to edit and render and all that stuff. So it took a while, but once it's done, it was done and just got to find the next person to do an interview with. But ideally, it would be someone that's got a phone that I can do a Facebook chat with and they can have half the screen and I have half the screen or, you know, however it works. And it just make it a bit more um, easier for them, easier for me, easier for the audience. And I'd have loved to have had, had um, Adini on the screen because I had him on Skype, but I was looking at him and we were looking at each other on Skype. On the laptop um, and I know there is there are ways of capturing that stuff I don't know how to I like to try and keep things simple suits my brain so yeah we'll see but I'd like to, if there's any hypnotists who do not just YouTube hypnotists I'm interested in any hypnotists uh, any hypnotherapists, anyone like that, that would be interested in having a chat, uh, be cool, that'd be, be fun. And it gives me an opportunity to learn a bit, to gives the, uh, the, hip, the hypnotists an opportunity to sort of promote what they do. So if they've got a YouTube channel or a website or training courses or a book or you know things like that um, so yeah so let's have a look so if it, oh, it's making me yawn I'm bored with myself tonight oh. so I started the year with uh, zero zero like plans Yannika says, can anyone become a hypnotist? What, quali what qualities? Anyone can, it's like anyone can be anything really, I suppose. And I would say for someone to be a hypnotist, they just need to be really into it. They really need to be interested in the subject, excited about it and um, I suppose it's trying to think to word this. Yeah, I think it's it's it does like anything. It takes you put as much into it as you choose, as you want to. So you can study, and there's loads, there's hundreds and thousands, probably thousands of books out there that you can read. Um, Unlike when I started, you've got YouTube that's here, which means there's lots of, I'm not talking about my videos, but there's lots of, uh, there are a lot of resources online. Um, I 
Sebastian says the voice. Yes, but you know what? I've listened to quite a few different hypnotists and not everybody, I mean, they're not all, well, first of all, nobody has the same voice. And I was listening back to myself. I don't normally listen back to myself, but I was, um, because of the interview I did with Adini, I had to kind of watch back a little bit to kind of see what the level of the volume was for, from his side. And um, admittedly, I wasn't doing um, a session, so I was kind of talking fairly just standardly. But I was surprised at how common I sound. I don't, <laughs> I don't, well, I didn't, um, I sound a bit, uh, I think I've got a fairly soft voice, especially, you know, when I'm doing sessions and doing, um, you know, a proper recording. But the voice, I mean, there's, there's some out there that have kind of, you could say even sound a little bit robotic, but very popular. Um, there's one person out there, I'm not gonna say their name, uh, but very popular, but they're quite, quite, um, not robotic would be the right word. Um, I suppose, Sebastian says, I'm the more boring voice type, but that's relaxing for people too. Thank you. Um, but being boring isn't just about the voice, it's about what you say, and I know how to talk, you know, most about the most boring things, and to keep it going for an hour or longer. And I know what it's like to be on the other end of that, to be sitting there, and to have someone talking. And it's not boring to them. And to try and keep my eyes open and wanting to just, you know, it's, it's not so, it was boring in a sense of I'm not interested in the subject, that's all. We can't all be interested in everything. Or maybe some people are interested in everything, but I'm not. And it, sometimes if you go too specific into a subject, it can get a little bit overwhelming where the brain starts to kind of shut down a bit. So if, let's say if you was a mechanic and you're talking about bridges and had the mechanics of building a bridge. Yeah, I could watch a documentary about bridge building and it's fascinating stuff. But if you start to go a little bit too technical and start talking about the, the measurements and uh, it could be a little bit too involved and start using words that I don't really know what they mean because it's specific to that trade, to your speciality, I'm gonna start zoning out. And I've seen people do that when I've talked to them in person. And their eyes start to like just close a little bit even while they're standing up talking, listening or trying to listen, trying to follow what I'm saying. But um, and in the past I have played around with that if I'm honest I mean I think the I've mentioned in the past my first counsellor my first counsellor that I went to see back in 1997 I think and I was talking to her about my life and her eyes started to close and she was like, and I kept opening them. And I carried on talking in a very boring manner. But I was still talking about things that were important. I don't know, maybe, maybe I wasn't, maybe I'm, yeah, maybe I did you know, purposely go a little bit boring. 
but I just watched as her eyes started to close and open and close and eventually they closed and she stayed there with her eyes closed and I started talking about complete rubbish talking talk about UFOs, lawnmowers um, stuff that had nothing to do with why I was there that's what I meant by rubbish and I'm not dissing lawnmowers they're very handy for for that you know, certain things so eventually when she did open her eyes I think I said something like so yeah so what, what do you say what's your advice on that one then so uh, so look, I'm just going to go back to I'm going I'm going back to some of the messages so I don't listen what's the difference between the hip hypothesis that have people doing silly things on TV shows and someone like yourself well I don't do things silly things on a TV show um, I'm not famous I don't I do kind of know how to do that I have trained in it I got did have a training by one of my trainers was uh, a stage hypnotist that was back in 19 no 2005 I think and um, so I kind of know the mechanics of it I know the procedure but I've never done it I've never had yeah I've never done it the difference is there's lots of differences um, someone that gets on stage wants to perform you know they want to do it uh, and those that are kind of pushed on stage by their friends who don't really want to do it they will eventually be led off the stage because they won't pass the tests that the hypnotist puts them through so it's a case of you might have 200 people in the audience uh, and it, the hypnotist would do tests with those 200 people that are interested in coming on stage and then eventually maybe bring in on 20 people and whittle it down to maybe eight maybe eight people and those eight people would want to be there and want to play around and want to have fun and maybe are more suggestible and willing you know they, they want to do it they're given permission yeah so it's some people say that stage hypnosis gives uh, therapy you know it does it in injustice but and you've got to look at how many people would even know about hypnosis if it wasn't for stage hypnosis. I probably wouldn't really know much about hypnosis if it hadn't been for Paul McKenna being on television in the early 90s. Didn't really know. It was, uh, it was to me, it was more like witchcraft before that. It was this, this thing that you'd see in movies where someone would be there and their eyes would be staring and they'd be waving their out hands like that Ooh, you know some kind of weird thing but um, Anika says I've never seen you hypnotising anyone how long does it take I don't know different different amounts of times um, I don't see any people in in I haven't seen a human being in person for years or well, everything I do now is online um, so yeah it's uh, I think what I do it's not I don't do traditional hypnosis where I sort of rush you through to get you to um, do anything I just offer suggestions and with these let me boy to sleep it's it's a mixture of a few little things that I do but with some of the other stuff I do it's it's just gentle it's slow 
and it's it's kind of a take it or leave it situation really test it if if you like listening to my voice and you find it relaxing or soothing or uh, somehow healing you know if it helps you with whatever situation you're dealing with then great uh, I think I like to think the worst case scenario is you just feel a bit more relaxed than you did before which is still not a bad outcome really and as far as how long does it take for people to be I don't even think about hypnosis in those terms anymore about hypnotizing anyone I wouldn't even use the word hypnosis anymore really I just I just stick it on there because I've what I do is I don't, if I'm honest I don't really class it as hypnosis in a in a sense of just talking and the power of words and the power of the voice and the connection that we can have, that you can have when you hear me, or that I can have when I hear someone else. Um, I like listening to, let's say, uh, Wayne Dyer, for example, or Les Brown. Uh, these are motivational speakers. They're the kind of people that I like to listen to because it fills me up with there's something it gives me. I don't listen to hypnosis sessions. Although I have listened to, I remember, I have, but I don't these days. But I really, I kind of skim through, have a little listen to what other people are doing and uh, see what kind of videos they're doing and seeing if I'm able to maybe equal the quality of the video. Not copy the video, but have some kind of decent quality um, it's not always the case obviously with um, doing this on a live uh, I think the live stream picture isn't quite as good as video picture but then the lighting once the lighting improves tomorrow it might increase the quality but then I've got a camera up there if you can see right behind me with my fingers pointing next to that red box the quality of that camera is a lot better than the iPhone because it's got a built-in the lens adapts to the light so it increases the light but it's kind of extreme high definition a little bit too in some ways I kind of oh it seems a bit intrusive a little bit if that I don't know if that makes any sense um, but unfortunately I would use this, I'd use the camera up there for everything but it can only record for up to 30 minutes um, which is no good for a lot of the things I do because most things I do tend to, tend to have uh, last for an hour or so and also the I mean, I've all ordered something so I'm hoping tomorrow I'll get that as well which would be a connection where I'm hoping I can use this microphone to plug into that camera um, so that instead of having to record it separately I'm hoping that's my hope so I did think going back to Yannicka well, I did think about I've had a few people like in real life ask me to help them and I say to everyone I said yeah if you don't mind me filming it and I'll stick on YouTube but no one wants to be filmed and I've even said well if you don't film it we can just record the audio and I'll put it you know on the podcast and I'll turn it into a video but even that doesn't seem to really appeal to people and then those people who 
perhaps need, what I feel perhaps need my help the most, I offer it and quite often they just don't, they don't take it, they don't take it. And that might be, I think it's something about knowing someone. If you know someone, it takes away that, um, maybe that respect that they might actually be capable of doing something that you can't see them being able to do. You know, you don't see them in that way maybe. Uh, so perhaps that's, that could be the reason. But I don't push it anymore. Years and years ago, I used to try and like, try and talk people into letting me help them. But now I just, I don't, I rarely offer at all now. And um, because I don't, well, why should I, don't, I shouldn't have to talk someone into having me help them? So that's why I do more online stuff. It's here. I'm just looking at Andre's making some weird noises. So I put my stuff online, podcasts, and on video, YouTube, Facebook. Spotify, put everything on my website so you can download every mp3 that I make. You can also stream the video and stream the mp3 on my website. But it's there, if you, you use it or you don't use it. It's, I've, got, I've got no control over that and I quite like that. I quite like it. Yannicka says that she feels sleepy. I have a talent, thank you. I have a talent for being boring. Can you imagine me on a first date? Can you imagine? You're just like, sat opposite me at a dinner table in a restaurant and you made the mistake by asking me to tell you something about myself. And then an hour later, you wake up, your head's in the soup, like, oh, what's happened? So let's get on with the, the plan of today. That was a long introduction, wasn't it? I don't know if anyone could tell me how long I've been online. I must have been talking for about half an hour by now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through my diary and have a little look to see what I've done this year, or last year rather. Right, well I started the, ah, isn't that interesting? I keep my diaries these days. I got diaries from a few years back and uh, So I can tell you that on the 27th of December, last year, not last year, but the year before last, 2017, it was recycle day for, <laughs> for the rubbish. So I'll go through each day. So the 28th, 29th of December, nothing. The 30th of December, 2017, I started learning HTML Code Academy on Code Academy, it's a website. So I'm 43 minutes online, okay. So I'll spend the next 20 minutes or so just talking about what I did. I go through every day of the year. It might be a longer than an hour session. So I started learning, I've already learned HTML in the past, but I was learning that and um, I love, I, I do love learning. And the things I'm most interested in really, because I get into like web design and stuff, but that's more because of my younger brother, because he's a complete wizard with tech. Anything to do with, whether it's building websites, building computers, uh, anything, he's just really good at all that stuff. He's um, an IT manager, you know, that's what he does for a living. So I kind of 
sometimes want to not be like him, but he he's very enthusiastic and quite persuasive when he talks about it and sort of says that oh, you really should be I'd benefit if I built my own website instead of using a provider and because I use Shopify which I'm happy with and I'm going to keep with them and I've been with them quite a while now but if I built my own website from source host it for my own server and I'd have complete control over everything then but anyway I think by the 1st of January I stopped all that so January 2018 I made a number one daily hypnotic buffet so I've actually written down a session that I made oh can you believe it I actually stayed at home all day and my friend made a cooked meal for us both well, that was nice uh, on the 2nd of January 2018 uh, I made number two hypnotic buffet so I've stopped calling it Daily Hypnotic Buffet and called it Hypnotic Buffet. And I did make quite a few of them actually. They're all on available online on my podcasts. Uh, this is the exciting stuff. Need to buy milk and Andre's wet food. So that's like the, the cat food that he eats. Walked to train station and got bus to the shops. Got shopping from Iceland. Celebrity Big Brother started 9 p.m. So that was the Tuesday the 2nd of January. So we don't have Big Brother on television anymore. I so wish we did. But there you go. Um, third, Wednesday the 3rd of January, I did hypnotic buffet number three. So this week is black bags. That's the rubbish week, it's black bags. So I went to, I went to the Buddhist center to meditate Wednesday evening. And I got the bus home and yeah. So that was the third. Fourth of January, I did hypnotic buffet number four. So I'm definitely on my on the road to yeah. So Thursday the fourth of January. Woke up Ah, oh, okay. So I was had some problems breathing, so I had to go to the hospital. Um, but everything was okay. I just had a, a swollen throat. Um, so I had to cancel what I was doing that day. Um, but I did make a hypnotic buffet for when I got home. So that was quite dedicated. Friday the 5th of January, I stayed at home still recovering from my throat kind of relieved that I was okay but I as I said I went to the hospital to the A&E and was in there for a few hours with my friend he came with me ended up getting a taxi up there had to borrow money off friends to get the taxi up so Friday the 5th stayed at home and I made hypnotic buffet number five Andre's now I don't know what he's doing he's behind the chair so the 6th of January Saturday stayed in bed all day okay um, hypnotic buffet number 6 Sunday the 7th 
I didn't do anything. I, I was going to go to a meditation by day, but I'm pretty sure I didn't go to that. Monday the 8th. I went to an assessment. It was 9.30 in the morning, and it was for a course at the, uh, like a college, and it was for basic... IT skills, you know, like using Word and that kind of stuff. Um, even though I've already can already use a lot of that stuff, but this is more uh, certificated. Uh, so I went to that. Tenth, I <laughs> tenth is the Wednesday recycle day. Nothing else really for the rest of that week. Now Andre's decided to. So what I'll do is I'll turn the camera down the other way so you can see what he's doing. He's going to knock everything off onto the floor. sometimes he's usually quite good but then occasionally he is naughty this microphone stand does not allow me to move things around quite as well as I wanted it to so back Sorry for the uh, intrusion of ferret, the ferret intrusion. Monday the 15th of January, I started the ECDL Fast Track IT qualification. Um, actually, no, it's a Tuesday, it started the 16th. To choose seventeenth was black bags. I had Sarah the social worker come round at two PM on eighteenth. I paid forty one pound fifty three pence electric bill and I didn't have enough to pay the gas bill, so I was gonna pay that next week. So the next week was the 22nd of January, Monday. So I had the safety inspector come round to see my flat, uh, just to check the, I think the boiler and the fire alarm and stuff like that. 23rd of December, Tuesday, I was at college, 9.30. 24th. Okay, I paid my gas bill seventy-eight pound and eight pence. Yannick yeah, says Andre is a troublemaker. He is. So I paid my gas bill seventy-eight pound and eight pence. Wow. So that's January. So that'll be coming, won't it? Soon. Um, my SoundCloud bill came out on the twenty-seventh. I got some medicine from Boots and some food from Iceland on the 27th as well. So I'm not sure what the medicine's for. Um, Monday the 29th. Um, Yannicka says why a safety inspector. Uh, it's a council flat, so they come around every year. 
just make sure that everything's fine. Make sure that the smoke alarm works, make sure the boiler's working. That's all it is really. Um, ah. So I walked to the pharmacy and back again. Emailed a voluntary application, a volunteering application to the hospital. This is the 29th of January, Monday. Sent email to Chris at the uh, theatre place, which is another voluntary place. 30th, the Tuesday the 30th of January, called doctors after 2 p.m. That was what I had to do, whether I did it or not, I don't know. 31st was Black Friday, uh, Black Bags, because the week before was Recycle. Okay, so Thursday the 1st, I had £38.99 to pay Sky, £15 to pay TV license, £15 council tax. That all went out of my bank. I went to Friday meditation on the 2nd. 5th of February, social worker came round. Now TV, okay, so I had Now TV and Netflix. I had my five pound tax came out of my bank on the 5th. Now TV was 6.99, Netflix was 5.99. So that came out of my bank. Uh, six, Tuesday the 6th of February, called Open University to book mental health science masters. Starts January the 19th. And paid Wix £22.42 because they were hosting my website. So that, the OU didn't work out because they wanted me to but basically with my initial degree, well, because they just wanted me to do two courses before enrolling in the masters. So I could get the masters financially covered. So it wouldn't cost me. Um, I could get a student loan for that. But I still have to pay about £1,500 for each course leading up to that, which I can't, don't have that money. So that was scrapped, unfortunately. Um, Wednesday the 7th of February, I paid my water bill, which was £68.31. Uh, Thursday the 8th of February, I paid £41 for my phone bill. This is just bills, isn't it? 12th, Monday the 12th, I paid my £5 tax and £5.99 for my, my soccer, Microsoft software that I was using for the course I was doing. 14th of February, black bag day, so the black bag rubbish. I had a volunteering position in the evening on that day, but it was canceled. Um, so, Boxing was on in the evening on the 16th of January, Friday. And also Saturday evening as well, of Eubank and um, Groves. So I watched that. 19th of February, five pound tax came out of my account. 21st of February, recycle day, so that's uh, they're the clear bags you put in plastic and cardboard and stuff. Uh, this is a 2018 diary. Just uh, 26 Monday, 26 of February, five pound tax I paid. Um, black bags, the 28th. It's a question time I watched on Thursday the 1st. That was on at 10.40. So I watched that, and so nothing else for the rest of that week that I've logged. 
5th of March, five pound tax paid. Cause I've got a, like a tax bill that I've been paying off for the last four years. Uh, it's now nearly paid. It's a 56 pound left. 2 p.m. So Sarah, social worker. Um, I was going to volunteer on the 6th, Tuesday the 6th of March in the evening, but that was cancelled as well. All right, Yannicka says, do you either go outdoors like skiing or skating? Uh, we don't have such things where I live. Um, although there is a roller world, is it a roller world? I think they have skating, but no, I don't. We don't have skiing here. Um, pretty much in England, I think. If you want to go skiing, possibly in Scotland, maybe in Wales, I don't know. But usually I think people go abroad to go skiing. Somewhere like France, uh, yeah, skating, yeah, so in the winter we don't have, we don't really, we do get the occasional winter in like snow and stuff like that, but even when we do get it, it's generally not, doesn't last too long, sometimes it, it seems to last for ages, but we don't, we don't have, um, the only thing you can rely on in England with the weather is the unreliability of the weather. It's very, I quite like it in some ways. It's, you can't depend on it. You can't, you can depend on it being, you know, you can get, it seems like we can go through four seasons in one day. It's, yeah, so that's, that's okay, but we don't have, don't really have like snowy winters where it's snowy for months at a time where you can go skiing and stuff and I do go I do go outside though I have been outside I have I have seen the sun I have seen the sky uh, my feet have touched the grass usually when I got shoes on but I take Andre out Um, for walks and stuff and I do have to go and go to the shops but socialising no I don't socialise really the recycle was the 7th of Jan March didn't go to meditation Mother's Day was the 11th of March don't like Mother's Day but I I do acknowledge it anyway. Uh, March the 12th, I paid my tax. 14th of March, black bag day. I had a doctor's appointment on the 15th of March, 2.40. It was to sort out prescriptions and blood test results. And I was told that I had um, my cholesterol levels were a little bit high. And I couldn't figure out what, why, what am I doing that would cause, cause that. But uh, it's not, it wasn't high, high that they're worried about. It's just, if it, if it didn't like decrease or if it went up too much, then I'd have to have some tablets for a little while to reduce it or something. Blood pressure was perfect. My blood pressure's always been perfect, always. And I've had it checked so many times over the years. Uh, always perfect, so that's, that's a good thing, I suppose. Um, again, I just scraped across the microphone, sorry. I'll hold, the bo I'll hold the book up. So I didn't do anything else really. There was boxing on Saturday night on the, the 17th. Monday the 19th of March, five pound tax paid. Uh, I've got no idea, 
can't read me, I'm writing here. I've got an appointment. I don't know where, I don't know who with, but I had an appointment at 10 a.m. on 21st of uh, March. And it was recycle day as well. And so I watched the Dylan White Brown fight on 24th. And I've got here summer, uh, Sunday the 25th of March, summer starts. So yep, um, black bags on the 28th of March. So 30th, Friday the 30th of March, Good Friday. And I put chocolate eggs, yummy. Ironically, I didn't have any chocolate eggs. So I think that was a period when I didn't really go out. So I didn't, uh, there was a time when I used to live in the town, because I do live quite a long way away from anything here. Not far from the toilet or the kitchen, but you know, I mean, generally uh, like a, a group of shops. The, the, cl the closest little cluster of shops is, uh, what, a couple of miles away and the, the, the only first proper shop shops is about six miles away and then it's another five miles from that to the town so it's a, it's a good solid like two hours if not longer walk to the town centre and There was a point to why I was saying that. Yeah, when I lived in a town, I used to, my last premises before moving here, I lived in a place where I lived, I lived near a Tesco. And I don't know if you have Tesco's in other parts of the world. We have them in the UK and it's one of the most popular uh, super, um, supermarkets in the country. And it's been around kind of the longest. I mean, you've got supermarkets, uh, Sainsbury's, Tesco's. And I would say to Yenica, she says, get a bike faster. I'll tell you what, you come here, you get a bike, bring a bike for me. And if you're willing to cycle on the road in front of me. No, behind me. That's it, yeah. If you cycle behind me, so you can keep the traffic away from me, then I'll cycle with you. Other than that, I live on a main road, wherever where I live, just, I live on an estate, I don't live on, an, on a main road, but when I get to the main road, it's lorries. Lorries, lorries, big lorries, big buses, and not that you can really get many small buses, but it's a very busy, busy road. It's, it's a road that leads to a motorway. So they're always busy, aren't they? And it's uh, parts of the journey, if you walk it, parts of the journey, the pavements aren't big enough for two people to walk side by side. I know that I take up a bit of room because I'm, you know, I'm not slim, but I'm not that big, you know, there should be enough room for two people to walk side by side, holding hands or holding a, because sometimes if you've got a heavy bag of shopping, it's nice to have another person holding it with you, isn't it? I guess, depending on their height. Andre purposely wanted to come up and say hello again. And it's all wet. Have you just done a wee? I don't care. We've all got a wee, haven't we? Oh, you want to get down now? No, you want to smell. Why is he wet? I don't know what he gets up to. Really don't. He's come. He's just all wet on his side of him. 
I don't know why. Unless he's... He wants my attention. It's a bit like... Um, do you know Flipper? Remember Flipper the, the show? The dolphin. And he's a camera... Uh, and sort of like quick got to come there's something happening is got to come to help a, a gorilla stuck in a canoe or you know whatever he's a bit like that tonight it's like daddy come and follow me but I don't know what he wants but I'm trying to tell him I'm working I'm this is you know I'm busy so he'll he'll no doubt find his own pleasures I never get fed up with hearing him sneeze. It's the funniest sneeze. Because I look at him, I don't think of him as a little baby anymore. But when he sneezes, he sounds like a little baby. It's still the same sound. So yeah, I used to live opposite Tesco. And it was a little, te it, it wasn't like, uh, I think like a Tesco Metro or it was like a small tex uh, Tesco, it wasn't like a big supermarket. I used to go in there and I don't know how long I lived in that, at that road, in that house, but I also used to live the other side of the supermarket before I moved there. So all in all, I was probably there for about three years living near, near that shop. And before that, I used to go to that shop quite regularly before getting on a bus to come home, which was quite a few miles away from the shop. So I've been using that shop for pretty much since nine, uh, 2007, November, until nearly four years ago, so whatever that is. Sorry about this. This isn't quite what I was hoping for when I got him. Three years ago, I thought he was a cute. Well, look how much brighter it is now I've moved the camera. Three years ago, three, three years and two months ago when I got him, I thought, what a cute little thing. How lovely it would be to have this little boy running around and I'll give him the run of the place and he'll have like one, two, three, was it? One, two, three, four, five rooms and a hallway that you can run and play in and stuff. But no, that's not enough for him. He has to wait until, and he's quiet, doesn't do anything. And then when I'm doing something, making a recording, he starts scratching on, admittedly, it is a scratch board. It was for a cat. That's what it was for. When I bought it, it's actually four cats to scratch against, to you know, do the things. So I can't really moan that he's using it for that reason. But I will moan. He's just out. Anyway, I, the, the whole point of that story, and it was an interesting story as well. I don't like it when my interesting stories get interrupted. That story was about, um, why is it so bright suddenly? Isn't it weird? Like there was hardly any light before, it was really dull, and now it's like super bright. Unless, ah. I don't know, we'll see. So I used to buy chocolate eggs from there when I lived right close to it, 
pretty much from beginning of March, maybe even February time, when they put the chocolate eggs out for Easter. And I'd be eating eggs every week, sometimes a few times a week, building up to Easter. Last year, I didn't have one egg, not even at Easter. Because in Tesco's, they, they sell them cheap, like a pound for an egg. Like, they're only little. I wasn't eating big, massive eggs. I wasn't, I couldn't fit inside them. They weren't that big, just, you know. And that was a lot of chocolate. But now I don't. Perhaps it wasn't as exciting a story as I thought. So I watched Joshua vs. Parker on the 31st. Easter was on the Sunday, the 1st of April. You know, I quite like this time of year. I know that not everybody's necessarily a fan of January and stuff, but I quite like the the moving, you know, every day's getting shorter. No, no, no every day's getting Is it longer? Yeah, so every, every day it's getting earlier, quicker, earlier. It's getting earlier, quicker. It's getting lighter earlier and it's getting darker later. Every day now as we move forwards. I notice it because I'm up late. I'm up during the night. I really notice it, how quickly it happens because you go from being really, really dark Till like maybe seven o'clock, and then within a couple of weeks, it's light by five, or light by six, and then half half five, and eventually it starts getting light about four o'clock, and it's amazing, and it doesn't get dark till about maybe half ten, so there's that such a short period of time when it's like really dark outside. And hearing the birds singing early in the morning, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite nice to see that. That's one of the advantages of being a, a night creature as myself. It's not the only advantage. It means I don't get to see people. I don't, I don't mean that. It's, it's, it's quiet. Apart from Andre when he's making noises. So let's have a look. I was in bed all day today. I didn't get up until about seven o'clock. No, was it seven o'clock? Five o'clock? Yeah, it was five o'clock. And part of the reason for that is because yesterday because I'd been up very late. I didn't get to bed till quite late because I was doing the interview video and editing it and stuff like that. And then I had sort of disturbed sleep and I was woken up and uh, eventually I didn't really get, well, eventually I was sitting down listening to, what's his name? Dyer. Um, What's his name? Dyer doing a like a motivational one of his motivational audios that I got on um, something, and I fell asleep listening to that, and I woke up about two o'clock in the morning. So I ended up staying up till about nine or eight, yeah, maybe seven, yeah, about seven ish. And I went to bed, woke up at 10, wide awake, and I thought, no, no, it's too early. I've only been in bed for a few hours. So I went back to bed, and they had a bunch of weird, weird drinks. So two, was it April 2nd, saw a social worker. Fourth Wednesday was Recycle. The reason I mention the recycle is not, well, not the reason I'm mentioning it, but the reason why it's in my diary is so that I know whether to put black bags out or recycling out. 
it's just a easy way to do it um, nothing much happened there it's my dad's birthday that week I didn't end up visiting uh, 18th of April is recycle day so it's dad's birthday lunch was that th Thursday really but I didn't end up going twenty fifth of April was black bag day. So, so I met a friend at one thirty on the twenty sixth. Well I had it on there whether I went I don't know. Social worker cancelled was gonna visit my niece who was born um, and I've, <laughs> it's, I've got recycling brackets but that was for the, the so black bags Janneke is it's basically refuge any refuge you put in black bags any recyclable stuff is in plastic bags like see-through bags and so I didn't I've not actually seen my niece yet and she's nearly a year, nearly, nearly a year old. So I've yet to see her. Um, I should be seeing her soon. I was going to be visiting my sister on the third, but I canceled because I wasn't well. Um, for some reason I put down that I had a shower on Friday the 4th. Sounds a bit weird. I don't normally have showers. I have baths. Took Andre for a walk. I think that might be one of those days that weeks that I didn't wasn't very um, active. Maybe slept a lot. So I watched May the fifth. I watched the Hay Bellu fight. Again, I put down that I had a shower. I took Andre for a walk. Had an Asda delivery, that's Asda supermarket. That was the fifth and the sixth. I had a bath and took Andre for a walk. So for some reason I was keeping a track of my the water that went onto my body. And I do that occasionally, I start keeping track of when I do weights and when I do this and do that and just yeah. So seventh I was keeping a track. I did two hypnotic. I took Andre for a walk twice, and I did a recording, a hypnotic buffet recording. Tuesday, eight, eighth of, Tuesday the eighth of March, I did weights. I did a recording. Took Andre for a walk twice. Walked Andre to pharmacy and back, then again to garage in the evening. Um, ninth, the Wednesday, the ninth of May. Oh, this is May. I did weights three times. Took Andre for a walk three times, but I didn't do a recording. Tenth uh, of May. I've got no tick mix to the to the weights, but I took Andre for three walks, and I didn't do a recording. Friday, I went to the meditation. Didn't do any weights. Took Andre for one walk, didn't do a recording. So I, I don't know why I didn't do recordings. Um, and I went to, yeah, Iceland. Got an Iceland delivery between six and eight. So I've listed weights, Andre walk and recording, but I didn't for Saturday 12th, but I didn't tick or cross either of those. And there's Huey Fury fighting in the evening, so I watched that as on channel 5. 16th of May, recycle. Now the diary is starting to get a little bit less. I'm not really making, stopped um, making notes. 23rd of May, 
is Black Bag Day. Recycle 30th. My niece's birthday, the beginning of June. I went to a dentist on the 4th. Collected my prescription on the 5th. Social worker on the 6th. Recycle on the 13th. Black bags the 20th. It's getting to the point where I'm just putting down when I, what black what bag day it is for the rubbish. 26, social worker. Went to a friend on the 25th to a benefits meeting. July the 4th, black bags. Very. Um, okay, there's a few bits there which I won't go into, but not much. Just Circus Social Worker 24th. Um, went to a mood regulation group in July 27th. I paid off my Sky monthly contract for my phone. So I paid £175 to pay that off. That was on the 31st. Oops, this started working. That's the 31st of uh, July. On the 1st of August, I had an eye test. At Spec Savers, I got an E. Yeah, I got a pay as you go SIM card for five pound a month, and I collected my prescription. My Sky Broadband twenty eight pound a month came out of my account. Second of August, paid water bill. I didn't put the amount down, but. Um, third, a mood regulation group did not attend, but that was the second one. Social work on the 7th of August, 8th of August, I collected my glasses and it's recycle day. So these are the glasses I've got on now. So I've had these since August. I got these for distance and a pair for reading. But I'm thinking of going back and seeing about getting something for um, using on a computer screen. So I've got my birthday, two birthdays the following week. Ah, so it's Black Bags on the 15th of August. Cele Celebrity Big Brother started on the 16th of August. Um, so I went to the to the local college on the 23rd to find out about courses that they had another birthday I had to pay SoundCloud oh, okay so I paid SoundCloud uh, it was my birthday at 26, I was 48. So August the 28th, I went to town. 29th, went to town. Wow. 30th, went to town. So this is August. So that's one, two, three days in a row I went to town. No, four days. Friday the 31st I went to town. So four days in a row I went to town. Probably the only four days in a row throughout the whole year. Uh, I went to the bipolar group on the 31st. And I had loads of stuff coming out of my account as well. Council tax, £17. TV license, £15. Broadband, £28. And mobile was five pound. So 
September 2018. Then, it's a bipolar group, seventh. Met my new sort of social worker person. Um, 11th was this September, last, so Sarah was the last one with her bipolar group, number eight, so it's the last one, 14th of September at 12.30, recycle the 19th of September, my brother's birthday that week, SoundCloud bill came out on the 25th of September. 3rd of October, the Wednesday, is Recycle. 10th is Black Bags. That's Sainsbury's Delivery. That was a big £140 I spent on that. That was the 10th of uh, October. That's a lot of money, isn't it, for delivery, for our food. Um, I think then I was starting to plan for the end of the year by getting stuff stocked up with things like you know shampoo, toothpaste, deodorant, soap, um, bleach, you know, just all the washing up liquid things that uh, just needed to get stocked up on to keep me going to the end of the year. I've got as a delivery the 16th of October, £98. Uh, also, I had the council come round to fix my bathroom light, which has not been working for a couple of weeks. I had to book it and they came in and the I got a new light bulb, I can't, I do know how to change a light bulb, but the light bulb wasn't working, so it was the, the connection in the light was faulty, which was a Well, it was affirmed when I when he actually came in and said, "Yeah, that's it's faulty. It wasn't the light bulb at all." Um. So what what he did was he said, "You can either we can put a new light bulb in, you know, fix the light in, and just stick the light bulb that you bought, or we can put a whole new system in, which means you won't have to." Uh, the light will last for about three or four years, maybe five years, and then you just have to call us when it goes out, and we'll put in a new, a new light bulb, a new thing, and it's much brighter in there. So I just went for that one. Laura Jean Flaherty says, "I'm in USA, Taunton, Massachusetts, 42 Spinner Street, um, just around the corner from." The post box. Uh, I've never seen this. What's up? And um, this is let me bore you to sleep. Um, it's just where is it? Seventy-two of these I've done. I do. I just talk. Bore. Just. It's just. It's hard to explain when I'm actually doing it. Uh, it's just talking boringly, really. Talking about boring stuff so people can relax and fall asleep if they want to. It's also available afterwards to watch on YouTube and so people can also listen to it, stream it on iTunes, SoundCloud, the various podcasts. And so then Tony Bellew was fighting on a Saturday the 10th of November. So we're kind of getting through to the end of the year. Had a doctor's appointment on the 20th of November. I'm just summing up the year, really. Last year. I had a safety inspection come round on the 29th of November. Which was quite funny. Well, funny. They came and checked the boiler, which is now sounding like a a broken helicopter trying to take off and it's he did the check made sure it was all fine then sent a letter to the previous tenant 
so they didn't even know who they were doing it for. Um, okay, on the 5th of December, I went along to some voluntary stuff that I'm going to be doing, that I've been invited to do. And the 14th of December was the last of the mood disorders group. Just like a chat, a catch up with having, you know, from the previous time, just to sort of catch up before Christmas, see how everyone was. And then Saturday the 15th, it was the Alvarez fight. 19th of Wednesday, I had an appointment I had to cancel because I wasn't well. That kind of brings me up to the end of the year. Tomorrow I've got an appointment, or I'm accompanying a friend on an appointment. And really, the rest of January is just a bunch of bills going out. Uh, Sky 28, £12.37 for the TV, £17 for um, council tax, Shopify 24.35. Netflix, EE, Spreaker, that's it really, just a bunch of bills that go out, uh, electric and gas will come through at some point in the next week or so, but yeah, this is relaxed isn't it, talking about bills, yes, oh yes, 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 yes. so that's it. That was more boring for me than it could have ever been for anyone else. Oh, that was boring. So hopefully, if you're listening to this with the purpose of being bored into submission and sleeping, then I think this would have worked. Apart from, sorry about the interruption by Andre scratching at his cat scratcher. But... I don't know, I, don't, I suppose he does it because he does have claws, so he does it for that, but I think he he does it just to, he likes me chasing him. He does, he likes to do something, and then I go up to stop him, and he runs away, and then he stops and looks back to see if I'm chasing him, and he runs away again, and hides, and, you know, he likes to play like that, so... It's all fun, it's all part of the fun of having a little little ferret running around so I'm going to go um, so I've done two sessions today I've done the deep sleep and uh, deep sleep whisper and this I want to try and I'd like to do three a day so but two a day is all right for now I'll build up I did one yesterday two today maybe tomorrow I can do three and Friday I can do three and build up from there. Perhaps I can do, I'd like to do more chronic pain relief sessions because that's something that I'm very passionate about and haven't done a lot of. Although relaxing your body and all that stuff is really good for that as anyway as well. Um, so I'm going to go, thank you for watching, please subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, please like, share, comment, blah, blah, blah. My website's jasonnewland.com and the next video will be, there'll be a light on me, proper, it should be, yeah, it should be quite cool. Hopefully not too bright though, because then I won't be able to look, I'll be like that, I have to wear a hat. As it is, the lighting in here is a bit too bright for me. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.